Welcome to Pacific Drive. This is a driving survival game by Ironwood Studios. One where the survival of your car is just as important as your survival. It takes place in the Exclusion Zone, a strange place where supernatural things happen, and it's a little bit reminiscent of Stalker in that way, which makes me really excited to play it. And I just love how unique it is that your car is this almost central character and this thing that you can upgrade and accessorize, I think? It's, it seems to go all in and quite detailed with the uh, car customization. So, let's get to it. I've played for about 10 or 15 minutes so far, just to make sure my settings are all set correctly. I love the theming, by the way. I mean, you can see it here with this main menu being this, like, old, crinkled... Almost like an old, crinkled, um pamphlet advertising like you know have your next vacation here the play menu is similar it's like full of these little what is this yeah it's a clip out coupon here and there's advertisements for things all over the place it's so cool but yeah let's make a new save game So it seems like we're a delivery driver. This is well after they sealed off the entire place. Now we've got wipers, we've got headlights, got a dome light, we got a dog calendar. Have we been sleeping in here? Why would we need a calendar? There's the barrier wall. This is such a vibe, the music playing, the heavy rain just pounding down. Thank you. 
That's an anomaly. I wish I could throw a bolt at it. There probably shouldn't be anomalies outside of the barrier. So I think the exclusion zone has escaped, expanded. Now we're inside. I think this is all the pieces from our car. That's the engine. safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. <laughs> this thing is not in good condition. Also, I'd like to know why the fuel can is stored with some like ethereal sticky gobs like what is that jesus nasty i got us up to 40 percent 
should be enough. When I played before, I tried to go back and refuel some more, and I found out that was a bad idea, because some stuff, yeah, some stuff starts to come. Yeah, I didn't feel like opening that gate. <laughs> Our wheel comes off. Don't know if I need to put it in park when we're missing a wheel, but why not? Flip the breaker switch. Sounds like they're in here. of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice because she's like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ugh. Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. I'm curious what a remnant is. What? You need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. So this is as far as I played when I played before, so I have no idea what happens next. I don't like having this door open, though. I feel like the zone is going to come eat me if I don't have all the doors closed, but... I guess it's fine? What the hell is that? That's like the same goo that's in the back of my car. Holding in the, um, fuel tank. Or the gas can, rather. Okay, pick up the backpack. Pick up 
the mechanic's eye. Patch yourself up. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Ah, oh, so this is our UI, basically. We're at 51% health. 0% radiation. That's a good thing. F. F to kick. Yep. It's a very subtle kick. You don't see your foot. It makes a tiny noise and a little puff. We have some serious flexibility to be able to kick all the way up here. Oh, it shows us the distance and the direction to our car. Oh, that's cool. The little line that it draws to the first aid station. I like that. Alright, we're fully healed. Pull the car in. Put the wheel back on. Yeah, that, that'll help. Oh. Oh, it shows you the status of each part. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is quite detailed. Crude bumper. <laughs> There's no panel there at all. Steel panel. What's the log? There's log. It's unchecked here, but it's checked there. I don't know what that means. R to... Is that fix? Or... Oh, <laughs> it's to remove. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's put that back on. Oh, hold on. E2 open. Carbureted engine. That thing looks rusty as hell. How is that working? Battery. Half charge. Let's get the wheel. There we go. Oh, this thing's broken. Seems to still function, though. Craft a replacement door. So we can open it, we can remove it, and we can... We can what? What's, what's the other one? Oh, that's just open it. If you just press E, you get in, but if you hold down E, then you just open it. Okay, blueprints, crude door. Oh man, look at this. There's there's so much here. Logbook, route map, oh my god. Systems, menus, all beautifully themed. But let's focus, crude door. You can even pin it to the checklist. Sure, why not? Mm, yeah, we do not have the stuff for that at all. We need metal, plastic, duct tape, and glass shards. We're going to build a door out of duct tape and shards of glass? Jesus Christ. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. It has 30 health and zero impact resistance. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. Get their items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist and search the abandoned car's trunk. Oh, log and photo are unchecked. Right, there's like a some sort of information gathering like scientific expedition system where you're supposed to gather information about things and study study the zone.
search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Oh, we got some duct tape, pry bar, and a mechanics kit, which does what? All the most essential items and equipment that allows a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. Does it... Like, is it needed to work on your car, or is it, like, a vehicle health kit? I don't know, but let's take it all, I suppose. Oh man, there's so many controls. Look at that. Assign quick slot, drop, transfer, equip, rearrange, transfer materials. Okay, T to transfer materials. So that just takes things like duct tape, I guess. Can you rotate? Oh, you can. Oh, there's a whole, like, inventory system. Oh, that's cool, actually. It can't go across, like, imagine these are pockets or something like that. It can't go across pockets. It has to fit in. Assign quick slot. I guess that's what I want to do for the pry bar. Yeah. This pry bar has durability. Does hit- oh, yes. Just hitting anything reduces the durability. Okay, do I just bash it? No, you don't bash it. You actually use it properly like a civilized human being. Glass shards, road flares, glass shards, road flares. What are the flares for? Cheap equipable light source, useful in a pinch. This powerful potassium based incendiary burns bright and burns brief, even in the wettest of conditions. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. Is there anything more in here? Like, can I use the panels themselves? Can I recycle them or something? Oh, that's gonna do something. It's taking down the health. Let's see what happens. Is that it? Oh, now it's in the red and now it's got like a secondary health bar. There we go. Scrap metal. Duct tape? I got duct tape out of that? And some plastic. Cool. Still need more parts, and this pry bar is almost done for. Friendly dumpster. Why is it friendly? Uh. Well, that is quite friendly. Thank you. <gasps> Scrapper! That's gonna be used to turn all sorts of things into other things. It's got a little heart on it. Tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. Hopefully that lasts for more than a couple seconds. If I use it again, is it gonna give me more things? Man, I hope I get a flashlight. It's freaking dark. Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Alright. Oh, that's satisfying. And I have everything I need. I feel like I should finish with this, though. Can't leave a job half done. Well, this thing has a lot of durability. The scrapper, I mean. You could really recycle a lot. Alright, there is nothing more left. <laughs> Can't pick any more from the bones. So, I don't think you can just recycle any... Oh, hey. Can I do something with you? I mean, I guess I could destroy you. Seems a shame, but you do have interesting things, like electronics, that the car didn't have. I suppose I could use this on my own car, couldn't I? I just want to try for a second. Yes, it works. Warning, scrapping crafted item. <laughs> nice of them to warn you. Do we craft things at the workbench? I think so. 
Okay. Crude door. There we go. What a beauty. <laughs> repair the car body. Get the repair putty from the locker. Yes, more putty. Structural putty. Ooh, we have a bunch of things. Spare tire. Repair putty. First aid kit. Chemicals. A little O3. That's saying that there's three repair kits, right? Is that what it's saying? I don't think I want to take all of this into my inventory. I guess... Ah, okay, let's not worry about it for now. Let's just get the putty. Use it to repair the car. So, is this going to just add health to everything, I'm guessing? Slather it on. Sure does. Wow. Good as new. It was never good even when it was new, but good as new. I think we're... yeah, we're there. Scan the flat tire. Ah, right. I noticed it was flat. Oh my god, there's so many systems. There's so much in the UI right now. It's a little bit overwhelming, but I'll learn it all. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Yeah, let's do that. Then again, maybe I want to know how to use a ceiling kit. Because that's probably what I'm going to be doing out in the field, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Ceiling kit. Oh, we already have the stuff for it. Glass shards. Why is glass used in a ceiling kit? Duct tape and rubber. All right. Say goodbye to holes and leaks by furiously, even frantically, patching them with this hastily assembled collection of materials. Then ask yourself why you were talking to a hole, which is in fact the absence of something. Wait a minute, this thing looks like a gun. Am I gonna shoot the tire into health? I don't know if I needed to shoot that all. I might have wasted it, I'm not sure. Scan the loose wheel, equip the mechanics kit. That's not the loose one. This is loose. Wait, how do you know that it's loose? Oh, that's what that's- Oh, the symbols mean that there's some sort of, like, status ailment to the part. So there was the one with the exclamation mark, that was the... Was that this one? I guess it was, so I guess that meant it was flat? This one's loose, it's that little red symbol. Equip the mechanics kit, so I guess that is going to be the thing that has what I need to tighten it. Yep. Give it a nice bang. Outfit the car. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Wow. How fancy. Gonna freshen the place up. Uh... What's the... What's that? Oh, is it... Give you a description. It's like a... a glossary. In Britain, they call this area the boot of the car, but they didn't win the War of Independence, did they? Now, over 300 million Americans are free to call the back storage of their automobiles whatever they like. How's that for humor? Yeah, that was, that was great. What else do we have in here? Handbrake. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. It's considered an ability, and it is a slight drain on the battery. Okay. Convert some of your momentum into a skid. It sounds like it could actually maybe be useful? Can I drift? I don't know if I can get enough speed where drifting is even a relevant thing. 
Hmm, there's four different types of engines. We only have the carbureted engine. What are the others? A carburetor is kind of the oldest tech, so I guess there's going to be fuel injection. That would be another one, but then what are the other two? This grumbling beast seems a little too big for a humble station wagon. The whole thing threatens to guzzle gasoline like a puppy gobbling kibble. Still, it's reasonably hard wearing, and we'll do the job of getting you and your car from A to B. Has a certain amount of miles per gallon and horsepower. It's a glossary for everything. Doors, panels, bumpers. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. What the? Hello? <laughs> I'm pressing escape and it's just doing this. What is this? How do I... Okay. So this is going to add to my trunk storage? Install craft mat? Oh, it's going to be like a mobile workbench, I bet. Now, hold on. Can I take these back out? Eh, maybe not. <laughs> I love it how the, the storage is actually just like a side profile view of a bunch of boxes of various sizes. I love that. Now what does this do? I don't know what that just accomplished. What did I just scan? Scan success relevant records indexed. Did it index anything? Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Oh, that's the one we were reading about in the glossary. I think it'll jolt me to health and take up a bunch of battery to do it. Where do you go? Ah, passenger seat. All right. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. I think that's our navigation device and maybe a whole lot more. I guess it doesn't just heal us. Riding shotgun with you is perhaps the most ramshackle and yet remarkable example of technology that you'll ever that you've ever seen. It can monitor the zone, ingest anchor energy, and casually teleport the entire car and all its contents a short distance. It may be a work of genius, it may be extremely illegal stolen technology, or it may very well be both. Oh my. Show legend? Oh man, there's just like... It's overwhelming, but it's incredibly cool that there's just systems within systems within systems. There's just, it, there's so much. It just has this like mad scientist feel to it that I love. Get the first aid kit from the locker. Let's take these chemicals with me. Store items for your drive in the car trunk. The scrapper, some road flares, a couple first aid kits, and a fuel can, which we already have. Got everything loaded up in the car. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Whoa. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front garage door. Refuel the car. Use the pump. This pump? Ah. Does this have unlimited fuel? Probably not, because it has a fuel meter on it. I wonder how long that's going to last us. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Oh, this doesn't look safe. Take a look at the projector against the wall. Blew the circuit. 
Select destination using the map on the wall. The only way you're ever going to find your way around in this scrambled soup of a place is by carefully, methodically mapping out your progress. Keep track of different routes using this map, along with information on how, on how safe or dangerous they might be. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, only one place to go for now. Three hour drive. Okay, so if you look at the right hand side under Route Analysis, all the columns on the left are basically hazards, and they seem to be pretty low. The things on the right are good things. Fuel, vehicles, buildings, resources. Well, there's no resources, but density of everything else seems to be moderate. Overall, seems like quite a safe place to go. You know, I wasn't sure whether I should bring the crafting materials with me or not. I don't know if that's something I should leave behind, but we do have a crafting mat in the back of our car, so I can craft things. And we have plenty of space, I mean, look at this, in my backpack and in the car. So I'm just going to bring everything. Why not? Is that door not going to close itself? I don't think it's going to close itself. Fair enough. So that's showing me where I need to head. Down that way. I'm sure all of these gauges work. Fuel is at max. What is this? Zero of zero abilities equipped. Wait, I thought the parking brake was an ability. Okay. Well, I guess we're fine to go. High R levels facility. Extreme caution advised. Well, now that everything's tightened and we don't have a flat tire, this thing's riding pretty well. Oh, what's this? It's the route map. Is it just the same information that's in the arc? Looks like it. I love these bunnies that are on the map. Like, what are those? Are those actually something? And if so, what? What are they? Oh, I love the coffee stains. Oh, wait. Do we not have to actually drive there ourselves? Like, are we gonna... teleport? Oh, right! The Ark can teleport us over small distances.
I didn't think a three hour drive would have been that small of a distance. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. So we need to find and scan a plasma generator and it's recommended we collect materials and craft replacement parts. Well, the that device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Is it a big deal to leave the car running? I mean, I'm sure it's going to drain fuel, but probably not that much, right? Nah. Let's not mess with it. Sodium vapor light. It's a resource? Recommended tool hand vac. Do I need to suck it up or something? Sodium vapor light. Memo, FAO, all staff, December 28th, 1975. Further to my correspondence of the 24th, I am writing to advise each and every one of you that the forthcoming disco time will not be going ahead. Moreover, I'm extremely disappointed that I find it necessary to remind all employees that inappropriate and unauthorized use of ARDA equipment is very obviously a violation of organization policy, not to mention profoundly unprofessional. The lighting rigs, arrays, spotlights, and racks that we have requisitioned are precisely calibrated, specially constructed, magnetically shielded sodium devices that are both very sensitive and extremely expensive. They're specifically designed to work in zone conditions for remote deployment and to withstand radiation and EMP. They are not for modifying with colored filters, rainbow banners, or beat sync to variable resistors. Frankly, I am appalled that I have to compose a memo such as this, and when I find those responsible, which I shall, rest assured, there will be severe consequences. This is the Olympic Exclusion Zone, not Miami Beach. I see. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. <laughs> okay, smash it. That sounds like a great idea. Private field notes. Date unknown. As we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone, we have begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. In a zone plagued with radiation, instability, electromagnetic interference, and many as yet unexplained phenomena, any infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless. Hence our investigations into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma, studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have contained. Plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul from place to place. And if the latest research from the... you! Out in the zone, all on your own! They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm! Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. And if the latest research from the Limtech team is to be believed, we may soon have a way to make it just as portable. At present, we await updates from Dr. Asid as she finalizes her report on Birkeland Currents. Art of management are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible, but we don't believe it is yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush research and save money. Oh, yeah, let's add the impact hammer to our checklist.
Yeah, we need... Is that four t-shirts? We need four t-shirts and four duct tape and a... Med kit? Okay. What if I just used the scrapper on it? No, I'm... I'm not even gonna try that. What if I use the scrapper on... Oh, yeah, that works. I... Don't know if I should do that. Should I? Eh... I'm not gonna do that. That... Just doesn't seem like a good idea. Jesus, this looks like a black void. I can't see a damn thing. You know, we don't need to pry open the trunk if we just break the entire thing down, do we? Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 Yeah, seconds. what is a remnant? That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds of counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Of course. So wait, remnants are objects of power. Just like from Control. Ooh, couple fabric. AKA t-shirts. Can I break down the backpack? No. Okay, I gotta check. Is there a flashlight? Because, wow, it is so dark. Okay, there we go. I made it a lot brighter. I found out from some Googling that the brightness setting here actually has no effect unless you have post-processing on high or ultra. I had it on medium. So, set it to high, turn the brightness up, and now... Now it actually looks like it's daylight rather than whatever it was before. Oh, much better. Sorry about that. Hazmat cabinet. Hmm, recommended... Oh, locked fixes pry bar. So this I don't think I can destroy with that, no. Oh, hello. That also needs a pry bar. Which I took with me. Well, that as well. I think the pry bar is just about had enough, though, so I don't know how long it's going to last. Wait, did I actually pry it open? No, there we go. Oh, pry bar disintegrated in my hands. Gas cylinder. And chemicals. What do we got in here? Ceiling kit, electrician's kit. Ooh, that's new. And some scrap metal.
Now, what's the electrician's kit for? I don't know. We'll find the use for it. What else can I destroy? Oh. Goodies in the bathroom? Nothing. Oh, maybe it wasn't locked at all and I just didn't hold down E to open it. I tried to press E, but it wasn't enough. Oh, we got a battery. Every curious crafter's favorite tongue tickler. This will power most small devices found in the home, as well as many portable ones. Lots of crafting materials. Oh, even the trash can? Oh my god, there's so much in the trash can. Scanning for warp location. Wait, what? Oh, it's when I press T. Interesting, but I don't want to do that. Oh, what the hell? Why is there a transmitter in the... Uh, I guess that's not a bathroom. Transmitter gear into chemicals. Interesting. I don't think I want to do that. Private field notes, state unknown. Please find attached the installation plans of these newer compact limb converters, along with my resignation from Arda, effective immediately. It has become the favored pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe the next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days, when we thought limb technology's potential limitless. This machine is a step toward the original vision, where limb bridges the gap between the materials given to us and our imaginations. When they say gear into chemicals, do they mean just like... I mean... There's this gear, which is literally a gear, but I assume they're talking more about, like, a ceiling kit. No, do they literally mean... No, they literally mean gears, I guess? What about that? Maybe it's just... literally gears. Why do I see a pizza there, though? That's a gear. That's going into chemicals, but that's a pizza. Can I put pizzas in there? Are there pizzas? Well, this thing's not gonna last much longer. What am I hearing behind me? Dare I look? Wait. Hold on. That tire's fine. Maybe it's because I don't have space. I heard a strange noise behind me, but now it's gone. I thought it was an anomaly or something. Oh, I can loot that through. Through the fence. Nice. Radiation hazard. 
Can I even go in there? Even if I would want to. Whoa, there's a lot in there. Bunch of batteries in the fridge? Alright. Some MREs. Some canned food. No, I can't fit that. I think I need to dump some stuff in the car. Consumer electronics. It's displaying some weird, like, test signal. Journal fragment, date unknown. Everyone's checked out of town. At this point, I'm the last person left. I'll be gone by tomorrow, too. It's hard to believe this was once a community. Sure, we didn't have that much to show for it. Not much to offer visitors. No great sights or famous landmarks. But a few of us lived out here, and we were happy with our lot. And then it seems the government had other plans for us. You no longer live here, they said. Here's your compensation payment. Now get out. Their weird secret experimentation zone keeps growing. They own this land now, this town, and soon we'll never be able to come back. They barely give us enough to cover the cost of moving. Now it's time to work out what to leave behind. That felt somehow wrong to do after reading that message. Yeah, this thing's basically broken. I don't think it's gonna break anything else down. Oh, can I take this tire now? No, it still won't let me take it. That's weird. Is it because I have something in my hand? Do I need free hand? No. Well, I think I have everything I need for the... Oh shit, I left my headlight on. That could drain the battery. How is my battery? I don't know, let's turn it off. Um, where's my battery indicator? Cater, it's there. Uh, I'm actually not sure what it started at. I guess it was probably full. So it's at half, so it did drain it. Turn the windshield wipers off. Yeah, I'm gonna toss that. Oh, yeah. Max. Craft the impact hammer. Ooh, we can craft most things. Everything but an engine. Wait. Oh, oh, I was I was confused, because it said we can craft it, because this is lit up, but then it says you're missing a gear. But that's because it has a nice handy thing where it automatically crafts you the subcomponents if you have the material for that. Very nice. Gear is crafted, now I can craft it. Nice. Okay. Holy crap, this is quite a piece of kit. All right, well, before we do that, we have a back panel, a uh, rear bumper would be nice. Back panel, front panel, rear bumper, and a headlight. What of that can we craft? Well, we can do a bumper. We can do a headlight. We can do a panel. And another panel.
Wow, two headlights. Look at that one. That's like, um... It's like a... Traffic light. <laughs> I wonder if it's just the beam on the left side is actually going to look different from the right side. Okay, wow. All the panels, all the lights, and a bumper. Luxury. Let's crack this thing. Jesus. Oh, I need five plasma things. That was just one. We have a lot to do. I'm also wondering about the collect materials and grad replacement parts. How exactly do I complete that? Like, why is it not done? Is there something more? Is there something more m missing? I don't see anything obvious. Status. Car parts can gain certain status effects as they experience the trials and- Hold on, we are- Whoa, what is that? That's like a ball of scrap. Like an animated ball of scrap. A golem. Is it dangerous? Uh, yeah, so car parts status basically saying things go wrong, you should probably fix them. Judging by the sound the front left is making, and yeah, you can see it on this thing, I think we have a flat tire. I'll deal with that when I'm maybe a little bit further away from that thing, because it scares me. Oh, a whole bunch of plasma generators. Oh. Oh no. Okay, so don't... Park near it. Gotcha. Let's fix that flat. We have a ceiling kit. Yes, we do. Is it flat? Yes. Yeah, you do have to use the whole thing. Um... Is this gonna zap me to death? Let's get in and out of here pretty fast. Great, bye. Actually, maybe I should just go get the others without bothering with my car. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, I guess that powers it down, so... Now we... What is that sound? Jesus. Yeah, it's powered down, so we don't need to worry about getting zapped anymore. 
We are slightly hurt. We're at 85% health. Spark Tower. Private field notes. Dr. Everett. Date unknown. Plasma-powered spark transmitters combining previously obsolete coils with limb-enhanced repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals throughout the zone. The constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing constant high-voltage, low-current discharges into the immediate vicinity. Alright, that's what's happened here then. Wait a second. That shows our front left tires being yellow still. Wait, do we have a door open? Is that what that indicator means? Hold on. No, we don't have a door open. This tire is fine. I guess the yellow in that case is indicating that it's kind of hurt, not that it's actually flat. So, we're fine. Oh. One of those things is right in the road. Sierra I'm lost. Get out. for this pry bar so this wouldn't work oh it does nice art of crate ooh a lot of crafting materials would it work to destroy this nice I wonder if that reduces how much material you get from it though Lab computer. Yeah, just one thing of scrap metal from an entire computer. No, this gives you very, very bad return. I'm not going to use this to scrap anything now.
Looks like this road kind of just ends. It's like a little dirt road. The main road, though, I don't really want to take with that creature on it, so... Let's follow this dirt road down and just see where it goes. I mean, I don't have to follow the road, so I could just drive on the dirt when it ends. Oh no, there's another one of those things. They really feel like enemies. But I don't know, maybe they're fine. They don't look fine. They really don't look fine. Can I get in that trailer? It's like crawling with weird vines. I'm gonna try it. Oh, hold on. I can scan it. Abductor. Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Danger, danger, danger. Okay. Ah, what the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on. The game does not pause when I read a note. I think I'll be safe here. Abductor. Letter fragment date unknown. Dear Maggie, once again I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it'd be good to put pen to paper. Hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks and write you a much better letter after, but in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. There's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't want to get close to that. I do want to know what that is, though. That is an anomaly. Tourist. Dictaphone recording, office of Dr. Richard Preble. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina, hi. How are you? Maybe it only abducts cars. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, uh, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm gonna be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here, for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full-time, you know? It's, uh, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh god, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Okay, so don't touch them. Don't fuck touch them. Don't know what happens, but it's bad.
Ooh. That looks like mud. Are we gonna be able to drive through this? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh, another one of those towers. That should have the... the uh, plasma generator I need. Oh god. There's really a lot of those... A lot of those mannequins, huh? Oh... What? What the fuck is that? No! No! Oh, he's scan you! Bollard. Transmission Fragment, March 21st, 1961. Yes, Anita, I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think that we're s what we're seeing here is something new and unique, something unmatched by anything the Zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree with your conclusions, strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomena. They very likely occur in response to ground vibrations or local disturbances. And I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they're a deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism, takes our discussion in a very different and quite uncomfortable direction. I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible, understand? I kind of want to get on top of one and just see if I can ride it up, but it might just kill me or something. Nah. Well, looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for Thermosap crystal. What the heck is that? Sure what that light is that keeps coming on. Oh, introductions. What is this? Oh, shit. My, my, where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Arda maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology. The maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Wait, is that it? Right there? Or is it over here? No, it's this way.
to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Oh, I want to know all about it. Use the art device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. I guess it'd be any of those? Anchor signal, yeah. Any of those are an anchor signal. Does that mean it could be one of those? Or it's all of those? This one's the biggest. thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey and the back of this breacher's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Hoppy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. A role model. I'm giving you ten seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, uh, watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. The bunnies? The bunnies that we saw on the map? They're a doozy? What do you mean? Take the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. How does... Whoa. Uh... Yeah, no, they're definitely some sort of defense mechanism or something. This is eerie. Ah. Uh, oh, I don't... I don't like those.
What does that light indicate? To me, it looks like skidding, like sliding. But I'm not? Oh, does it just mean I'm on a material that will, like, make me slide more? Because it looks like I'm kind of in mud. <laughs> Back into the mud. Yeah, it just means you're on a slippy material. Okay. Okay, I don't understand why there's two gateways. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. All right. Don't want to go too fast. It's pretty rough riding. Yeah, that does look like hot death. Let's go! that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your models intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor tools to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Be clear. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. It's such a fascinating game, even though it does feel like it has a fine layer of jank over everything. It does feel a bit unpolished, but I, I don't mind that much. I cannot wait to play more and learn more about the world and explore more of these weird little systems and learn more about the zone. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.